the use case manager version 3.4 has been released I really like this I call this the remarkable app I'm going to go into the features the the, the least significant towards the more sophisticated at the end of the video let's start with the way that we can now manipulate several rules at the time I'm pretty sure that this was not there before so if I want to delete several rules at once I can just select them in here and delete them more on this export later because that, that has uh, significant ex uh, expansions uh, in the capabilities very remarkable by the way so that is one thing uh, the other thing that is very important is if I were to delete a rule from here is going to check for dependency but also if I were to enable or disable the rule so for example if I click here uh, the system is going to do a check well, let me actually cancel this let me actually go ahead and disable this one uh, the system is going to take a while making sure that by me disabling this rule and not having consequences of another rule that depends on this one another addition is that in the group in when we look at this uh, existing rule attributes group action and response this new category or type or, or, or uh, attribute on a sign exists so for example if I want to see which rules uh, do not have any group assigned to it now I can do it uh, so it's, uh, it's good to search uh, for that in the tuning app or the tuning portion of the app for example if we go to active rule which is the first part I'm just going to apply the default filters in here you'll notice that they more graciously distribute the information in here I remember in my case where I fired a lot of uh, offenses for uh, reproducing attacks and stuff then uh, this was actually cluttered and it wasn't easy to be seen and, uh, so here we have a, a more granular display and we have these charts offense creation trained by rule I don't have any trend because I fire all these things on February 7 and I haven't done anything since but you'll see graph that indicates you know the trends on the actual rules so those graphs are also new here so we had a lot of rule attributes for organizing things uh, but w there are some customers who want to actually add additional attributes that are custom so for example let's say that I, I, I like MITRE but I want to map my rules against the cyber kill chain so I want to have uh, attributes that say well this is uh, this rule is for recon this one is for discovery this one is for weaponization whatever it is you know any part of the lingo of the cyber kill chain uh, if I want to keep uh, versioning of my rules or status or whatever well I don't have that in here well if I go to the wheel to this uh, gear here notice that there is a new this new section called to custom rule attributes and and I can actually create it in some of the places but let me show you how it's in here and notice that there are some import uh, capabilities uh, that, uh, that go for this so if I want to use for example uh, I want to uh, say that I want to separate this and put uh, my rules and put uh, an attribute of status so I define that and I say that the possible status are uh, disabled uh, one is uh, in use I'm making this up I, I see this making a lot of sense for people that run multi-tenant uh, environment for multiple curator customers where well, you may have here a customer name and you know different different attributes so so I'm gonna define this two just as an example and when I save these you're not gonna see them in here but if you go to any rule notice that there is now a section called custom attributes and if I click here on the plus sign I can add an attribute right from here 
uh, I can or I can click here on the plus sign notice that I the adds the status I just define is right here or I can add new ones as well so it's a good way particularly when you are thinking of exporting which a lot of people do my, my rules and put them in a CSV for documentation etc uh, having that attribute I don't have to do it externally on my spreadsheet I can also I can have this as the single source of truth for everything that I'm looking even when I export it uh, to a spreadsheet later the one thing I didn't do is was actually selecting one status but it's kind of a, I'm actually do it for completeness if I were to go here and say I want to put this rule in the status in use all I need to do is check this out save and apply and then that attribute that custom attribute is assigned to it as you probably were expecting I can display that as a column here on my report if I go here let me actually take a few out and if I were to I believe that it there is here down here yep custom rule attribute I can actually select here status apply and I'll see it there I only have one one rule that had that uh, selected Let me actually sort it by we can actually only I only put status because if you have several you cannot put as many as you that they fit here and then this the current status will be shown in here so let's say that you make a selection of rules by you know searching for your filters any one of the attributes like even the one that we just created the status one and all that and uh, or, or you select whatever rules are, are in you, you want to work with and you want to export them well now the export is very very interesting this one existed before you know it's a CSV file you put the name of it and you're ready to use it in a spreadsheet nothing new there I believe but this one is these two are remarkably remarkably new and better so if I were to select this one export selected rule and dependencies in a file that can be noticed that it can be imported into another curator file so say you have your test machine where you debug your rules you test your rules you are happy with it and you want to export them into another curator system well you can s do it like so you can this uh, determine whether you want to have these two options or not that's really independent but then when you click next next notice that you have a manifest file when you specify the Arthur the, 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 the extension name who created it the description and this unique ID so let me uh, explain the purpose of this the purpose of this is to create a file it's going to be a zip file very similar almost identical to the one that you get from the app exchange when you import something by let me open a new tab here you go to the extension management and you import a package well all the information that you normally see in any one of these packages and you click here on the more detail that is the information that is going to go into that manifest okay so let me go back here we can close this one there and this extension unique ID is very interesting because you will specify a number here or, or whatever is the, the ID that you or, or combination of alphanumeric and then that's gonna tell the system that if you update this rule and modify these rules later when you export this one it's going to go and override the one that you had before because this extension unique ID is going to be the same it's actually very cool for controlling the versioning of your uh, of your rules to make sure that they are not you know duplicated or, or there are different names or you, you are not sure whether you, you actually overrode the, the, the one that you wanted well you can actually now do this with this uh, extension unique ID I think this is a, a very interesting feature the other portion that I want to highlight is the export selected rules for an HTML and I'm going to actually click here because I only have 
four, uh, three rules in here. This should not take uh, long at all. But this is going to create a zip file. And the idea of this is that this is going to create an HTML file that allows you to visualize this information even when you don't have a curator system. So the, the, let me actually go and look at the file that was created. So here's the file. And when I expand it, and I go to the index.html, notice that those three rules that I had, I can look at them <laughs> exactly in the same way as I was uh, doing before. I don't have any miter for this one, so that's what I don't see here. But even the miter pieces, the, the idea is to give you the same uh, information as you had without having to go to a curator system. So notice how this is very cool for keeping control of, of your rules and the documentation of them. This video is getting already a little too long, but I think that those are the things that I consider the most remarkable about this remarkable app, the Use Case Manager app.